back out at Breen Dane. We've got Adam with us again. Uh, determined to get him his ray today. We've also got Lexi with us. She's going to probably beat us all. Although Jack's not happy with that. So uh, we will hopefully get a few fish on camera today. And hopefully we get some rays. We've got a bit of a, a surprise for Adam later. I don't know if to do it on camera because I don't know if he gets emotional. Probably won't, but there you go. <laughs> so I'm sat down. Rich has just informed me that they've got me a little gift. Jack's looking really sheepish. <laughs> right, this is the first bit of it. Right, okay. So this might give you a bit of a clue. Right. Now, we're not sure how this is going to work, mine. Right. So we might have to adapt and overcome. Right, okay. Well, so you can unwrap that and then that might give you a bit of a clue. Okay, we've got some lugworm. You can't bake lugworm, can you? Lugworm, I can't break one, I can't. You've made me a bait and you just like a big worm, haven't you? <laughs> worm stabber, 9,000. Alright, so basically, Lexi watched the video and she thought um, she was impressed with you. Yeah. So it was Craig, her dad. So he wanted us to try and do something so we could uh, eat baiting worm up. Right. So basically, put that in there. Shove that in there. I've got two baiting needles this way. So you can either. So we've got the bead on there. Right. Okay. Thread your worm on. Yep. Alright. Take that out. Obviously, put your hook in. Yep. I know I'm holding it in this hand, you won't be able to do that. Yeah. So you're going to have to do whatever. Put it in the legs, yeah. Once your hook's in there, wrap it around these to keep the tension. Right, okay. And then hopefully. I've not tried it. Right, okay. <laughs> Should we give it a go? <laughs> right. I'm going to try this. <laughs> right. Thank you. I appreciate this. Thank you. So you want to... Yeah, that ends for us. Yeah. Uh, pretty sharp. <laughs> yeah, sharp. <laughs> Jack, can you just get a bit of line with a hook on this way? Anything? In my box there, I've got some... Open that back electronics thing there's some red there's some hooks in the red bag the only the only problem I can see with this yeah is if you beat me in a club comp where you're using work <laughs> I will not be happy <laughs> <laughs> yeah if you come up to me like what are you using stuff like I'll use one <laughs> The fact I've even threaded worm on is more than I've ever been able to do. Yeah, because usually you... I Constantina these on. Yeah. Lug worm I can do because I Constantina them because you can fold it. Rag yeah. worm. When rag worm it just breaks. Well, you'll be able to do exactly the same. I thought it was the other way around, but yeah. Jack's just going to quickly tie a, a hook onto a sublime. Don't worry about that, we don't have bites. I don't know, I'm just thinking if that catches it, it'll be banging, wouldn't it? <laughs> and it's like we're doing this and I don't realise that the rods are doing this in the background. So, like I say, I've not tried this, so it might not work. All right, so let's get a hook. Pop it in then. Like that. Then yeah, that and then one. wrap it figure of eight the how many times just to... This way you might have to... The last one, there's a big gap, so you really want to try and get it in and around that first one. Could take it a bit of use to. I want to help you, but that's yeah. not the point, is it? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, bite Lex. Oh, Lex, well done. Go on. Okay. That's right, Lex, we'll get your camera on it. Don't worry. It's a conger, I think. Take Lexus to there and then we'll bring her back in hand. Just uh, keep it on that. That's a success in my eyes. That is a success. Then 
and obviously you just pull them all up. Yeah, what well, I could do. I don't have an idea. So this would be tight then. Yeah. Yeah, because that would be attached to your uh, weight. Well, that tastes nice. Oh yeah. Knock on the rock. Oh, Jack, go down. <laughs> I would say that's a success, guys. Thank you. I want to hug you now. That's amazing. <laughs> well, Lexi, it works. Yay! <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you. That's one of the, I tell you what, that's one of the most meaningful, nice gifts I've ever received. And <laughs> I can't even deny it. That's amazing. I was really, when you said I got a surprise for you, I was a bit like, what? <laughs> I've got guts on it. But... My wife is going, can't do it on camera because what if he gets really emotional? I said, No, I don't know him that well, but I don't think he'd get that emotional. I don't do emotions yeah. normally, I'm dead inside, but <laughs> that, I'll tell you what, that is a success. I would there say that go. is a success, yeah. guys. Well done. I can actually put <laughs> worm on now, thank you. Guys. Yeah. I won't have to ask you anymore now. <laughs> That's <laughs> why we've done it. Is that why you were laughing? <laughs> <aren't you? laughs> is that why you were laughing? <laughs> That's amazing. So when we were doing that bit of baiting up demonstration, Lexi had a bite. Jack's gonna go down. You shouldn't say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies present. Yeah, just leave it there for a minute. Your first landed fish. It is. <laughs> <laughs> All last, the whole last time we went, couldn't land anything. This time, here we are. Got a little strap. How are you at Anuka Nose with one hand? Oh, easy, I've got my little disclosure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing well. You try to take both hooks and run for easy little thing. Well done, mate. Thank you. Well done.
Is it on there, Adam? Oh, gotcha. Jack, you going down here? I'll bring it to you. A bit bigger. Oh, good fun on this little spin rod. <laughs> <laughs> Is that on the work? It's got both of them. That's it. Yeah, you actually have to take them both. <laughs> Greedy little shit. We're going to have such a good fight. Lexi's got something playing with her white white rod there. Yeah, this thing's tapping away on it. Not saying too much, but she lost her first one. Is that on there, Lex? I don't know. It's not broken. Yeah, there it is. Is it on there? Hey! Oh no, it's come off! Oh no, come off! Yeah! Yeah! Oh no! Look, it's itchy there. Is it going over your other line? Yeah, it's going over your other line. So that's what I said, it's T barred it off. Yeah. So your line's gone over and it's just T-barred the fish uh, off. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have a bit of a I think you might just have to line it all the way up. Alright, Lexi is now into another bite, and hopefully, she will get this one in. Is that? Yeah. Is that? Jack? Uh, am I going to fall over again? Jack seemed very busy then when I uh, had to run down. Jack's using a weight in about a 25 foot trace. Yeah. Whose rod are you going to cast over? Right. Oh, so, basically, I think we're going to get a bird's nest. nest. And uh, there's a rock on the end of here. Should stand too close. Whoa, that's, <laughs> that's straight, Jack. That's great. That's made a hell of a fun. Yeah, scared everything away. Yeah. <laughs> so Lex's bit rod's been going for a bit. We thought it was going to be a, a ray. And it looks like it might be a little tote. It is a little tote. Okay. What's he pissing about with the next one? I'm trying to pick it up. 
<laughs> so it's a big one. Well, we know it's quite big because of the sound of Lex's wheel. Yeah. <laughs> I think you might need some grease in there. It sounds like I thought mine was bad. Mine sounds like a coffee grinder. But that's <laughs> Just another thing to add to my list. To be fair, that's bigger than the ones we had last time. Thank you. Did you have one last time? No, you did. Oh, right. Just say we had them. Okay. Well, we, were, we were the only two left in because <laughs> we went home, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Five times bigger though. You look five times bigger? Before I went down, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the big one let that one go. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Lex. Hey. Thank you very much. Ooh, What's your eye? Not again. <laughs> Oh, is it? Feel anything, Jack? Got nothing on there. So, after uh, getting given the uh, the worm hook at 9,000 earlier, I've just made this absolutely beautiful rag bait, which I would never have ever been able to do in a million years. So, thank you once again, you guys. That's incredible. I really appreciate the gift, and yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That's uh, probably one of the best worm baits. Well, definitely the best worm bait I've ever made. And uh, yeah, I'm going to send it out now, and hope hopefully we'll be able to catch something. So let's clip this up and. It's only on a little nine foot spin rod, so hopefully we don't get anything too big because that would be a bit scary on this, but... <laughs> We're all moving right out of the way. <laughs> Where are we going? It's only a nine foot spin I'll like, put the camera on, it's not showing, but I've just had my first bite after about four hours of being here. And now that's uh, gone as well. Oh, Lex Lexi, do the voiceover. Adam's had a bite. Just <laughs> reading it in now. No, 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 not me. Oh, it hasn't come off. See yours is going. So 
So they're all going at the moment. Lexi's rod's going. I'll just put your camera down there, Adam. Feel something better on there? Yeah. I think mine's come off. It's snagging it. Yeah, it might come off. Oh, mine's come off. Yeah, After all that. Oh, there's nothing on there, is there? No. It's done. Both of you. Oh, I've been there. Oh, mine dragged me into a snag. I reckon it was a, I reckon it was a strap, you know? Oh, yeah. Sir? Yeah. I reckon it was a strap. Yeah, Can you untangle it for me? I've just done one. I've literally just untangled it. Two bites at the same time and both um, lost them. You seen the same one? They're obviously not as good angler as me. Man, you didn't stick to that. <laughs> What's going on there? No, no. I'm really annoyed at that missed opportunity. <laughs> Mind you, at least it's not like last time, it was like a banging bite. I feel he was going to say, at least it won like me, I had a bite. You did have loads last time, eh? Yeah. I had one today, little conga bite, and that was nice. I'll start a new cast of rock there. Oh, I could probably throw it further. That's my float out there, my float fishing out there. Yeah? Yeah. Which arm would you have to use to throw it further? Well, probably my right, but I can't use it anymore, so... <laughs> probably not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> when I used to play cricket, I remember counting trials, I could throw quite a long way. Stand on the uh... Jack, are you against your line? No. Why? You ain't got a bite then. Yeah, see, I had visions of you putting it on your box and putting your foot on on it to hold it. Right. So I didn't, because like I said, I didn't know how it was going to work. It's easier like this, because I can get it closer to me. Yeah. He did say if, you know, you want it changed in any way, if you want that bit longer. This is, or... To be fair, this is like perfect. It's... I'll be seeing him next week. Yeah, I mean, the only thing is maybe if I'm like cod fishing, with lug because I do do like big normally like I said a Constantine lug on yeah but I do do big long baits like almost like three quarters of a trace so maybe if this was like here yeah but that just um, you'd have to pull it on in two lots wouldn't you because yeah. the baiting needles are the baiting needles aren't they well, exactly yeah I mean? exactly you can't make a difference like that yeah I think the only reason I've been able to make such big baits is because I Constantine and I don't use a bait needle yeah because I can just fold as many as I want off. I've had more bites on that little spin rod than any other thing today. Oh, squirty, squirty. do is I'll put my mate's logo on this bit while you're baiting up. You've done the uh, thingy, smart beds. 
3D printer. Kind of stuff in it like 3D printed. Yeah. It's like when my sister and brother and I make the logos and stuff on clothes and stuff. When I watch them do that on the computer, that fascinates me. And they just make a load of dots into a logo. Uh, oh. We're going to add the rig over, isn't it? You want it? Uh, yeah, please. What, this rod? Yeah. You got something on? Normally that sound means you got something on. No, just changing it. I need to use the rig up. Just put that there and add it. Ah, oh, I found a downfall. Found a downfall. <laughs> Med Jack's cut the rig it's off. It's the way he's cut. Yeah. yeah, where he's cut the rig off, it's not long enough. So you've been doing it perfectly. The one time I video you, we have a problem. It's not my fault, to be fair. <laughs> it was, you can blame a little strap eel earlier for ruining my day. Still gonna work. No, it's not. Oh, I came off right on the last bit. Just where that is, isn't it? Popped off on the last bit, but to be fair. Oh, you got most of it on there? Most of it. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's just stick that. I think the only reason this one's gone a little bit wrong was because the uh, you had a conga twist up the line to jack out the cut here and make it a bit shorter. And now the hook length doesn't reach those posts to wrap it around. But I'd still say that's quite spot on. From what you could do before today. Well, exactly, which was yeah. nothing. Well done. So that is the end of today's fishing. Uh, me and Jack blanked. About four and a half, five hours of fishing and blanked. Which we don't usually up here, but there you go. Um, Lexi had, what did you have, about four? Three conger? Three congas and a baby tape? Four. Four congas and a baby tape. And had, Adam had, was it three congas you had, Adam? Uh, two, lost one. Yeah, and I've had two congas. All little small strap stuff, but we were hoping for rays. Conditions were perfect, really, but nothing come. So, uh, <laughs> so we will take them out again, and hopefully get Adam's ray off for sure. Right, we'll see you on the next one.